What's up, guys? Dave and House. What up? Okay, now I'm gonna rant about a other YouTuber. Uh, to me. Okay, this is gonna be be tough. This is gonna be rough. So yeah, y'all gotta excuse me. Um, I recommend y'all stop watching my video right right now because I'm gonna be harsh, use much profanity. So um, okay. Now I'm talking about this dude, this retard that I don't fucking like, named. OCP Communications. Yeah, that guy. I don't like this fucking bast this son of a bitch because all he does, all he does is harass people. He a bitch and a complainer. I mean, he's just the fucking worst. Like he just fucking attacked this YouTuber for no fucking reason, just because he just think Deadpool's funny. Like seriously. Okay, so big deal. Deadpool's nice thing is that's not what he likes. Oh, by the way, OCP communications in superhero movies. Not everything supposed to be R-rated. Look, I don't care how much you love Deadpool, you know. Not every superhero movie has to be rated R. Like what's the point of that? It's about telling the story. And also, um Deadpool is is good, but Deadpool is not the best superhero to me. And yet, OCP just Blocked him, you know. I have a YouTuber trying to reason with him. But OSP communication is just the worst, you know. I mean, I mean, he, I mean, he's just blindly defended those fucking toxic Ghostbusters fans, you know. I know rants about Ghostbusters fans in the past, so I won't do it again. Why those stupid nostalgia Ghostbusters fans attacking Paul Feig because they're like female Ghostbusters trailer? Like, seriously? And Paul Feig rightfully stands up for himself. Yes, those those fucking we stupid fans jump the gun and be like, "Move's gonna stay, move's gonna stay." I hate the trailer, blah blah blah. And, and um, and Paul Feig rightfully rightfully stand up for his movie. And yet this bitch OCP try to call himself trying to defend the fans. He be like, he be like, "Stop being a whiny bitch," he says. <laughs> and uh, this is the reboot of. Ghostbusters, Sony decided to do with an all-female cast, and um, I'm about to go off on this because I've had enough of hearing about this fucking movie. I've had enough of hearing Paul Fag defend this film. I've never seen a director be so offended by other people's opinions and on this movie. Movie is. You sound like a whiny bitch. Bitch. You whiny bitch. Look at you, OSP. You have been crying about wee booze. Being rebooted. Oh, because it's not like your childhood. You do that all the time. You act like one yourself. Oh, by OSP communications. That really. Really pissed me off. That you blindly defend those Skullbusters fans. Oh, because you hate reboots. You hate reboots yourself. Jeez, OZP, it's simple. Just don't watch the movie. Don't pay to see it. I seriously don't care. That's your business. I mean, I don't care. I'm not mad at James Ralph for not wanting to watch Ghostbusters movie. I'm not mad at him. You don't see him complaining about it like a, like a crybaby wussy like you are, OZP. That's all you basically do. And what really pissed me off, what really pissed me off, that you attack Paul Feig for calling Ghostbusters fans assholes, rightly so. Hey, OCP, um, do you know Paul Feig was being harassed constantly over a reboot? Did you know that? Like, did you know that OCP communications? And yeah, you mad at the fans? I'm sorry, you mad at Paul Feig for calling fans assholes, and they deserve that. And yeah, you mad at them? You mad at him for that? Which is bull crap. Are you that? Freaking stupid OCP and blinded, like, just, uh, you know, you be like, I am done. You call me fans as hoes and go fuck yourself. Uh. Oh, you mad? Oh, oh, you mad at? Look at you, OCP. You mad at Paul Fee for for calling Gopas fans a hoes and say go f yourself. Not cuss too much. You mad at him for that, OCP? Like seriously, OCP, you're a joke. You are. Freaking joke, man. You are. I mean, sis OZP. So you blame the fan of the fans. And, that, and then you tap Paul Fig 
just stand up for himself. Seriously, OCP. OCP, go screw yourself, literally. Like, um, OCP, you done the same thing. Like, OCP, you attack a fan. As you attack any hater, you attack someone if they attack you, OCP. Fucking asshole Bobby Roberts called me ugly, made fun of my teeth. Fuck him. He's not a fucking looker either. <laughs> I, I would, I, he was saying, like, fight me. Yeah, I want you, yeah. Fucking come over here, Bobby. Come over to my house and fight me. And I'll beat your fucking ass with a fucking two by four. Oh, you're on Puffy's case. Guy, you know, I'm just, you know. I'm glad not the I'm glad not the only one that feel this way. About two few YouTubers come out call him out. I'm glad not the only only one. The sad thing is those blinded fanboys just blind to take out for OCP. Like OCP is cool. Leave him alone. I'm glad not the only one. I'm glad not the only one. Like, jeez. You know what? I don't like Dark Nova, I don't. But we believe but at least not worse as OCP, I give him that. Oh, by OSP, by, by OSP, you threaten somebody online. At least Puffy doesn't do that. By OSP, you always trash it on reboots and shit. Like, whatever is your opinion, your opinion, fine. But, get over it. Not every reboot should be like the original. OSP, do you know that? Like, get the fuck over it. Yeah, OSP communications, all it does is trash reboots. But at least reboots, that was good. All it do is trash reboots. He nostalgia a fanboy, a toxic one, and then and then he attacks people, you know, and critical and insulting, you know, like he's the worst. Why, right, guys? Um, OSP is the worst. OSP communication is the worst. I recommend you unsubscribe from him. <sighs> oh boy, like like I said, fuck OCP and fuck whoever defends him. Now I'm done. Now. What do you think of this video? Comment below. Let me know. I'll see you later. Boom!